Hello everyone, my name is Estefano Rivera, and this time I'm going to present the project I did with Priscila Portocarrero and Camila Quiroz at the Universidad de Ingeniería y Tecnología UTEC in Peru. The project is called Study of Real High Voltage Circuit in Scale to 20 kilovolts Cascade Transmission Lines with a tab real time and experimental validations. Let's begin with the introduction. In the last 30 years, real-time simulation has become relevant in the electric power system industry, with the popularity of renewable energy and smart grids, monitoring is a crucial capacity for systems to have because of the many benefits it has, like frequency regulation, energy efficiency, for instance. For this aim, SCADA systems are essential to acquire and monitor data in real-time. The aim of this project is to precisely simulate a pre-existing grid with a tap using only the real-time model to adjust the parameters of each component to meet with the real ones. For it to be a success, the simulation must be capable of calculating the load flow analysis and predict the short circuit currents with a low margin of error. If this is achieved, it would give evidence in favor of the usage of a tap real-time to create a virtual twin of a smart grid using only real-time data and basic knowledge of the grid's topography. Therefore, it would not be necessary to make in-field measurements to be able to create a virtual model with which to perform simulations capable of predicting the behavior of the network under normal unfold conditions. Now let's talk about the virtual grid configuration. The virtual representation of the system consists of a 220 kilovolt network connected to two cascade transmission lines of 300 kilometers each. In turn, the lines are connected to two loads of 100 megavolt ampere and one of 80 megavolt ampere, as well as a bank of capacitors of 70 megavolt ampere for voltage control. The methodology used consists of an iterative process of three steps. Measurement of the real circuit, visualization through tab real time, and simulation of the networking etap. With each iteration, the aim is to adjust the parameters of each component to the system with high precision until the simulated load is as close as possible to the real one. On the experimental side, we made use of a series of equipment and models capable of simulating the behavior that the virtual network would have on a real scale. In this image, you can see the power source, which would be the real counterpart of the 3,800 megavolt ampere and 220 kilovolts network. Likewise, you can see the first meter that corresponds to the beginning of the first transmission line. In this image, you can see the meters of each load as well as the switch that are connected to the program to be able to carry out the measurements, connections, and disconnections remotely. On the left, you can see the real counterpart of the 100 megavolt ampere load, which is connected in the middle of the two 300 kilometer lines, whose models can be seen below the safe load. On the other hand, the left image at the bottom shows the 100 and the 80 megavolt ampere loads that are connected to the end of the last transmission line, as well as the capacitor bank at the top. For the tab real time part, a PLC was used to control the switch, and both these and the meters were connected to the computer through the local laboratory network with the Modbus protocol. Finally, the respective configuration were made to ensure correct communication between SCADA integrator and the equipments. After the adjustment process, it was achieved that the load flow of the virtual model had a deviation of less than 1.5% with respect to the real flow, which we consider low enough to be able to carry out the short circuit simulation and compare its result with those of the real short circuit. Regarding the transients of the fault, the simulation show a peak current of 1.869 kiloamps, while the measures carried out show that the highest peak current value reached experimentally is 1.843 kiloamps. This means that in this parameter, the simulation deviates by 1.37% from the real value. 
Finally, the value obtained from the simulation for the stationary fault current was 0.743 kiloamps, and the measured value was 0.747 kiloamps. In this case, the deviation from the simulation is even lower, being only 0.58%. In conclusion, a high voltage circuit in scale 220 kilovolt cascade transmission lines was simulated with a tab real time. This circuit was validated with, was validated with experimental data obtained from a scale circuit in laboratory where load flow and short circuit analysis were tested. A tab real time can be used to finely tune a virtual model of a network to simulate ethans such as faults with high precision compared with the real network. The difference between the fault simulation and the real fault is 1.37% for the peak current and 0.58% for the stationary fault current. The results of the fault simulation in conjunction with the load flow gives evidence to support the usage of a tab real time to create virtual twins of reads without the need of in-field measurements. Thank you for your attention and thanks ETAP for providing us with this opportunity.